Hey guys, Kyle Millen here with Stillen. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about how to know when you set the belt tension correctly on your cog drive supercharger system. The number one question that we're anticipating getting is how do I tension my belt? So it's really easy. It's actually less tension than you would think. Um, by using a mechanical engagement, you're not relying on that friction. You're not relying on a piano string tight belt um, in order to transfer that load into the belt system. So you can actually back this off. And what that's gonna do, that's gonna do a few different things for you. Number one, it's gonna give you a longer service life on your belt because you're not putting it under so much tension. It's also gonna give you a longer service life on all your internal bearings because they're not being forced in order to uh, transfer that tension through the whole system, they're under less load. So you're preserving the bearings on your jack shaft, on your blower, on your tensioner, everything should have a long service life as well. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that while you're tensioning your belt, you can actually wiggle it back and forth just a little bit. This is a good thing. You do not want it to be piano string tight. If you make it too tight, what's gonna happen is as that supercharger in your engine and your engine bays start to get to operating temperature and you've been driving the car for an hour, two hours or more, everything starts to get hot and starts to expand. Conversely, your belt actually begins to shrink. The heat causes the belt to get down, to go a little bit smaller in size. So we wanna give ourselves a little bit of wiggle room on that belt, and that is gonna be the optimal tension. You do not want to over tighten this belt. If you over tighten it, you do run the risk of shredding the belt or damaging it or anything of that nature. Again, it's very easy to tell. You can see here, there's quite a lot of play within the belt itself, but ultimately we're looking for something that just slides back and forth. So now I'm gonna loosen the tensioner. I'm gonna show you what's too tight and I'm gonna show you what's too loose. We also took the opportunity to redesign the tensioner bracket assembly. So now you no longer need to get a uh, wrench down the backside in between the blower and the tensioner. The uh, tensioner assembly now uses a captivated bolt so that you can do this all outside of the vehicle. I'm sorry, uh, all inside the engine bay. So as you can see, it's pretty loose right now. I've just loosened the, uh, the bolt and I'm gonna back this off and we're gonna go too loose. So this is excessively loose. I can basically slide it off with my fingers. So that's too loose. We don't want something like that. And it's the, the tensioner assembly, everything's wiggling around. Obviously that's not right. So now we're gonna tighten it up and I'm gonna go over tight at this point. So again, I can do this by hand, right? I, I don't even need to use a wrench or anything like that. You shouldn't need to put a wrench on this tensioner. So that's going as about as tight as I can get it by hand. I'm gonna cinch down the bolt. So now I can't move this at all. This is stuck onto the uh, the cogs themselves. This is way too tight. So we're gonna back this off. Shouldn't need to be backed off too much. Yep, there we go. Now I can start to move it again. Okay, now all I need to do, tighten this back down and we're good to go. So again, really easy. As you saw, I can do the adjustment by hand. Doesn't need to be uh, overly tight. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for something that once you've tightened it, you still have a little bit of play on the, on the belt. It's allowing it to walk around. It's allowing it to move around a little bit. The majority of the uh, locating is actually being done by the tensioner pulley itself. We're not locating on the cogs. We're locating on the tensioner pulley and the upper bearing. These two pieces are what's keeping this belt aligned. Um, so yeah, that's the new cog drive system from Stillen. Uh, if you have any questions and you like any more information, please feel free to give us a call. We'd be happy to help. Thanks so much and have a great day.